All right, so you just kind of want to shape the nose in the middle of her head, okay? Um, and push it up just a touch. And then now we're going to take our little pink uh, piece, the same color as in the ears, and we're going to flatten it out. And we are just going to re-roll it. And we're basically just going to cut it out into a triangle. Um, and place it on the front of her little nose. You can roll that out. You can press that out. Um, you can do that however you want. I'm just going to kind of press it out between the wax paper. You want it thin and then I'm just going to basically just cut out a triangle and you want it just a little bit smaller than her actual nose is. And then you can just kind of neaten up the edges. You can place it there just to kind of see how it's going to go. It looks a bit big to me, so I'm going to pull it off. And then I'm just going to neaten it up a touch. And then just reshape the triangle and there we go okay and you're just gonna make sure those are again about the same size we're just gonna kind of place them first just so that we have an idea of where they're gonna go um, and then once we kind of have that we're just gonna take our little fondant tool and we're going to indent in just a touch to help us uh, place those ears in okay and then we're going to take our paint brush or our brush here and just add a bit of water and we're going to place that right under her head and again you don't want to do too much water um, but you're just going to place that right there. And you're going to do that to both of her ears. And if it falls off, it's fine. You can always just put it right back. Okay, make sure that you're not... Uh, changing the shape of your fond and are pushing in too hard on her face. And then you're just going to place those like that. We're going to let that set up a bit and then we're going to come back and we're going to draw on her eyes and her little nostrils and then we'll place her head on her body. We'll be back. Hey guys, so I have her body and her head, and before we draw on the eyes or the nose, we're going to attach her head to her body. 
Okay, that way when we're transporting it, we're, we're not going to mess up uh, what we've drawn on. So, um, as I've said in previous videos, um, it may have been the cow video, I don't really like to use toothpicks. The whole point of making um, a fondant sculpture is that it's edible. So I like to make sure that it maintains the edibility, okay, <laughs> all the way through. Um, so anyway, I don't really see the point in adding um, toothpicks. So what I do add, though, is spaghetti, okay? And um, this will just help keep her head in place, okay? And I still make sure I let whoever know that um, there is still spaghetti in here so that they're not um, caught off guard. But anyway, we're going to uh, break that off to about the length we need. We're going to push it into her body, okay? And I'm just going to break off a little bit more. There we go. And now I'm going to take a little bit of water and we're going to place that um, under her head. And we're going to place just a little bit um, on that spaghetti uh, noodle. And of course it is uncooked. And we don't want a whole lot of water, but we are just going to, and I'm going to turn it to me, toward me, so that I can see how to do this. And you're just going to place it right on top. And there she is. And that will help keep with the stability and um, you're still maintaining the fact that she's completely edible. Okay, so there we go. Um, we'll come back, we're gonna let that set up a bit. We'll come back and we will finish her face. And once she's had a chance to set up a bit, we're gonna take a toothpick and some black food coloring um, and we're gonna go ahead and paint on her features. And she has, um, she has two black lines for her nose. And she has two black lines for her eyes. I'll try to do that where you can see, but I also need it pointing toward me. And you just want to kind of make sure that those are as even as can be. And make sure that you also have a paper towel handy. And I'm going to make that just a little bit darker. Okay. I'll get that uh, tidied up a bit and then I'll show you what she looks like. Alrighty guys, so there she is, Olivia the pig. She is all finished. I added um, a little pearl necklace, a pearl bracelet, and then she looked a little bare on top, um, so 
I kind of put a little uh, tiara with some little fondant pearls and then I made um, the number three for Bella so happy birthday Bella hope you love Olivia um, if you guys want to see the cake uh, go search my channel um, I'll show you how I'm going to actually decorate it with Olivia as the cake topper so once again happy birthday Bella thumbs up for the birthday girl and don't forget to share me on Facebook and Twitter guys with your friends and family appreciate all the support and as always thank you so much for watching